Oke semuanya, jadi baru kali ini saya melakukan video reaction lagi teman-teman nih Jadi saya tadi kan lagi iseng-iseng kan, saya lagi lihat Youtube dan saya menemukan video yang menarik Yaitu video How I Made $25,000 a Day Trading Stocks Dari Humble Trader teman-teman Jadi teman-teman, Humble Trader ini uh, merupakan salah satu uh, influencer saham luar negeri teman-teman Yang lumayan terkenal teman-teman Karena suka memberikan edukasi-edukasi tentang cara trading saham gitu kan Ayo kita nonton saja videonya Gimana dia bisa bikin 25 ribu dolar Itu tuh sekitar berapa ya? Uh, mungkin kayak 300 jutaan, 400 jutaan kali Oh itu kayak udah level bandar Di sini itu udah kayak level bandar Indonesia teman-teman keuntungannya Ayo kita nonton teman-teman Welcome back to another Humble Trader video. Today's video is highly requested by many of you who watched my previous live trading video. In that video, I showed you guys my actual live trading recordings and explained my setups for entries and exits. Many of you really love the video and want to see more live trading actions. Mm. Honestly, I do okay. check the comment section and my motivation truly comes from your appreciation and support. Now, I'll be revealing how I made over oh, $25,000 day trading NVIDIA and AMD. Hey. As always, I hope you guys really get oh, some value. Oh, maksudnya dia trading di saham Nvidia, Nvidia dan AMC. Kalau misalnya teman-teman gak tau, Nvidia itu dia perusahaan yang buat kayak GPU-GPU komputer gitu kan. Dan AMC itu perusahaan teater film yang ada di Amerika, teman-teman. Pasti teman-teman udah pernah denger sih, karena kan mereka dua saham ini kayak sempat melonjak kan pas zaman pandemi. Di mana AMC itu digerakkan okay. karena banyak retail yang beli gitu kan dan Nvidia itu dia naik karena ya harga GPU yang melambung tinggi karena digunakan oleh uh, penambang-penambang kripto gitu kan. Sehingga harga GPU GPU itu GPU itu graphic card. Jadi itu yang kayak bisa membantu komputer untuk mendisplay mendisplay di layar gitu teman-teman. Teman-teman. As always, I hope you guys really get some value out of my wins and losses. And most importantly, learning from my trade planning and execution process. Don't forget to let's go, let's the learn, guys. Ayo kita belajar. Stay hungry. Questions in the comment section below. Let's go. So the next stock I'm gonna talk about is Nvidia on the long side. So pre-market on August 8th, the stock actually. Oh, dia dia long Nvidia, man. Yang yang gampangnya apa? Uh, Kayak di market biasa teman-teman, kayak dari kemarin kita kan dengar kan bahwa uh, kebanyakan trader itu kan kayak short selling, short selling, short selling dari kemarin yang kita dengar kan. Nah ini dia lagi menunjukkan kalau misalnya dia melakukan long position yang berarti kalau uh, sama aja sih kayak di Indonesia, kayak kalau misalnya sahamnya naik berarti kita mendapatkan keuntungan gitu kan. 190 down to about 175 pre-market okay. from releasing the preliminary guidance and it was a lot lower than what analysts expected. Oh. Jadi dia itu apa sih, uh, dia habis ngeluarin laporan keuangan gitu kan, untuk kartal 2. Dan setelah dan setelah dia keluarin laporan keuangan, sahamnya turun nih kan dari sini. Nah, dia lagi manfaatin penurunan dari Nvidia, teman-teman. Kita lihat nih gimana caranya kayaknya. Now. I didn't know about this, there's no way I could have known, but I was short NVIDIA overnight. I had 2,000 shares, around 190s average, and you can see on pre-market, I covered into this huge gap down to about 181, 180. That's when I got out of the short. So I oh, out. jadi hari sebelumnya, teman-teman, dia itu udah shorting duluan, ya. Dia mendapatkan cuan di NVIDIA dengan cara short selling. Jadi pas uh, pre-market opening, uh, dan sahamnya turun jauh, itu dia tinggal jualan gitu kan. Oh. Oh, smart move 16.000 dolar teman-teman itu kayak hmm, 200 jutaan wow gila di saat teman-teman kan 200 jutaan mungkin let's say dia taro uh, 10 miliaran gitu kan kalau misalnya di Samsung Indonesia 10 miliar tuh udah kayak gede banget pasti di broker summary itu udah ter udah terhitung kayak ada big akumulasi tiba-tiba gitu kan nyata di Amerika itu enggak teman-teman masih kayak Bentar, 10 miliar bukan sih? Kayaknya ya I'm looking at saya, takut, saya takut salah hitung juga Cuman saya tadi cuman kayak hitung-hitung Kasar aja gitu kan Oke, we're playing the long side Oke, okay, we're playing the long side 4,000 shares at 179 average Aduh, aduh, aduh Nomornya kecil banget Saya gak bisa lihat portonya ah! Coba yang kita bisa lihat nih Nvidia di bagian sini Itu dia udah kayak rada Eh uh, lagi lagi merah realize-nya. 
dia pakai type nya iya margin berarti dia long position buka posisi long tuh kan masih masih merah teman teman Uh, dia ambil di harga uh, ask berarti di harga over di satu pas over lagi di satu juta koma enam empat gitu masih cara baca ask oh ya ask I'm looking for a bell ask gitu kan ask berarti over oh enggak itu harga sekarang harga sekarang ya udah lah lanjut aja Guess what? I've done that before and it like ripped my faces off. So don't short on weaknesses like this, especially on these. Bentar, bentar. Ini hal hal menarik nih. Saya pengen coba dengar ulang. Kalau misalnya adalah pro- kan dia bilang tadi ah uh, dia itu uh, sebagai kita lihat teman-teman kan uh, tadi kita dia bilang kan kita lihat tadi Nvidia kan juga ada laporan keuangan jelek yang berarti kan kayak oh itu bad news, sahamnya akan turun. Nah, di mana orang lain malah melakukan short selling, dia malah Lo kan long gitu kan karena dia bilang pengalaman dia di pengalaman dia yang dulu. Nah, mungkin dia bilang karena orang-orang tuh shortnya pas lagi di pantulan gitu kayak kesal gitu. So, rip my face off. So, don't weaknesses like this, especially on these very volatile and big range growth stocks like uh, Nvidia and AMD. You can see I got in uh, oh, I see. growth stocks like uh, Berarti jangan maksudnya kayak Kalau misalnya pagi-pagi langsung panik selling itu mending terus ada mulai ada pantulan tuh mending kita manfaatin aja dulu pantulannya teman-teman daripada kita langsung kayak berpikir untuk uh, wow bakal sampai bakal lanjut lebih turun karena kita masih bisa menggunakan pantulannya itu untuk uh, mendapatkan meraih cuan gitu kan apalagi dia bilang di saham-saham berkembang gitu kan growth stock uh, Nvidia and AMD you can see I got in saham berkembang uh, I still have my 6, shares at 179 average so oh, I'm looking for shares berapa itu And you can see on the side here, I have a Harga sebenarnya seratus tujuh puluh dolar. Uh, banyak banget. I my Nvidia short, uh, but I have some short oh, udah, dia udah, dia udah TP short sellingnya dia dari Nvidia. Hore. I have some short on AMD and Roku. But those are kind of. Oh, dia beli satu ratus sembilan teman teman. Tadi ada average costnya. Longnya. Trying to, you know, give my Nvidia long my full attention. And this is a very strong open. Like if you look at this, this oh. five minute candle, we went from 174 to 179. This is really strong. Ah, ada tekanan so, beli yang tinggi dari candle-nya kelihatan. Ada so tekanan beli yang tinggi. So uh, I sold 1000 shares into the 180 mark on Nvidia. But I'm still holding the rest of the 5000 shares at 179. So I'm still okay. up nicely. My average is 179. Oh, udah mulai hijau. Oh. Udah mulai hijau dia, udah mulai tepe-tepe so Oh dia udah mulai tepe perlahan, perlahan. Ini teman teman uh, Nih, gimana saya bisa tahu uh, dia udah mulai tepe perlahan nih Kita bisa kan di, uh, ini kan udah unrealized dan realized Nah, unrealized itu keuntungan dia yang belum ditepe Nah, sedangkan realized itu, kalau bisa dia uh, Let's say tadi, dia kan 6.000 shares Habis itu dia jual kayak uh, 1.000 shares gitu kan Nah, nanti di bagian realized itu akan terbaca ijo karena dia udah uh, merealisa- merealisasikan keuntungannya gitu teman-teman. Nih lihat nih tiba-tiba realize-nya udah ijo. So I'm still up nicely. My average is 179. Nah, ijo kan 180 to scale out. So I got 180 so 182 I dia udah keluar. I'm trying to hold the rest to 182 if possible. And once again, I remember when I was relatively new. If I see that I'm, I'm up like a dollar or two dollars, I quickly take the profit, and only to see the stock rip a lot higher. And then I'll do the opposite on my losing trades. I hold. Pro trading tip: Newer traders tend to hold on to losers too long and cut their winners short. Pro traders do the exact opposite. Hold on and bag hold my losing positions as if fake. Okay. Jadi ini kayak uh, kata-kata. Uh, Quote saham dari Jess Livermore kayak kalau saya nggak salah kalau saya nggak salah teman-teman uh, ya, yaitu uh, cut your loss cut your loss short and let your and let your profits run pasti teman-teman udah pernah dengar dengan udah sering gitu kan dengarnya so, and let your profit you wanna, run you know, become profitable you should be doing the opposite um, if, you're, if you're in a winning trade like this one try to hold on to it and you can get better at that by you know scaling out partial size So for example, if I have you have five five thousand shares. Instead of selling the entire five thousand, you sell a thousand, a thousand, two thousand, 
or even 500-500. Oh, dia suruh tepe-tepe perlahan gitu, teman-teman. Saya juga mikir gitu kan, mending kayak tepe tepe perlahan gak sih? Kayak untuk mengantisipasi kan, kita udah dapat cuan, kalau misalnya kita nggak bungkus, jadi kayak sayang gitu, ntar tiba-tiba rugi gitu kan. Nah, mending lebih baik tepe perlahan, biar kalau misalnya naik pun kita masih bisa kebagian cuannya gitu kan. 1,000, 2,000, or even 500, 500. So for example, if you have 5,000 shares, instead of selling the entire 5,000, mm. you sell 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, or even 500, 500. Oh, so this like is quick. Around this view up area, can you see that? And to me, this kind of action. Oh, dia pakai indikator view up juga, teman-teman. They tried to break it down, didn't quite break down how it held it. And now we're testing 180s again. Kalau saya nggak salah, uh, view up itu volume weighted average price. Kalau saya nggak salah. Uh, 181. Oh, hampir kena tepe. Thousand shares at sold some. Look, 181.30. So over here, you can see a thousand shares sold. Cuma sahamnya dia banyak ya teman-teman. Uh, di portal banyak banget saham. Looking for 182. And let's see if we get it. Oh, tapi dia di realisasi realisasi tuh. Oh, enggak teman, udah, udah di realisasi semua. Oh, udah 2000 dolar. My, my average is 179. Oke, okay, average-nya di 179. Ada Nvidia intraday 181.40s. I really want to get that 182. Let's see if we, uh, uh, let's see if I get it. Ayo so, nyampe target. 160, the stock is really strong. You can see it's just a red candle whatsoever. Kita lihat, kita lihat. Green straight up for the last um, last 16, 16 minutes. Having some trouble with 102, sorry, 182s right now. You can see I'm, I'm, I'm putting my orders out around 182. I really want to make sure I get that. Oh, nope. I sold another, another thousand share. Oh, I sold all of it. Oh, udah kejual. Dia udah tepe semuanya. I sold all of it at 181.30s. You can see I'm out of oh, my zero share size now. So I sold all of it at 181s. So quick recap, this is what happened to Nvidia after Dia I sold tepe. all of my long. You can see this thing did go to 182, but it went to that for just a little bit after I sold 181.30s. It you know, dropped off to 180s and you know, tried to bounce and test the 182. And that's really the higher day. After 182, this thing just sold off with the rest of the market. Wait, abis dia jualan, abis dia jualan, langsung turun sampe teman-teman. Oh, jangan-jangan. Hmm. Teman-teman tau lah saya mikir kenapa, tapi enggak juga lah ya. I'm really glad I captured. Tapi mana mungkin gitu kan, bandar dia lagi beraksi langsung di pamer-pamerin ke YouTube kan, enggak juga gitu kan. Needs of the move on the long side. Okay, so I've seen the best for last, AMC. Um, so this one I was more short biased on AMC. Um, this thing actually actually took it for a loss. Oh, dia lagi shorting. Oh, dia langsung di dua saham teman-teman pas lagi berjalan. Iya nggak sih? Oh enggak enggak enggak. enggak. 6,000 shares, $24 average on AMC um, Nah dia lagi AMC. shorting Nih, uh, AMC yang di atasnya teman-teman chartnya uh, Yang di bawah itu AMD Eh, AMD, uh, Nvidia This is still squeezing, so I have to cut some for a loss So fast forward here, you can see AMC is squeezing And I have to take, you can, I think I take, took like a $2,000 shares loss I stopped out around at a higher day, $26.60 uh, For, you can see at the bottom, $2,700 loss Now I still have the $2,700 Berarti itu sekitar uh, 20.700 juta an So it's starting to fail at $27 On the 2 minute chart Okay So once it starts slowing down That's when I want to start adding into it Oh dia mau so tambah barang Kalau lebih turun uh, After my initial cut Oh tapi masih loss ya two, day, Makin gede shares. lossnya so Iya masih Saya Kecilan. Um, $24 average. $24.20 average. And you can see a lot of oh, like tadi dia cut loss $2,000. You can see GME is doing the same. I'm trying to short into the breakdown on GME. Um, but it's definitely not my favorite stock to trade. I much prefer AMC rather than GME. When this thing like do like this crazy holds, like, I'm not gonna lie, I, you know, There's, a, there's always a part of me that says, oh my gosh, should I add or should I just cover? 
But in this case, I'm glad I added uh, into that 26 little pop. Okay, and also habis. SSR is oh, tambah barang langsung turun short selling. That, uh, the day before. Uh, so whenever you have SSR on. Uh, short sale rule SSR the, the, sh- the short sale rule was a training regulation in place between 1938 and 2007 that restricted the short selling of a stock on a downtick in the market price of the shares that restricted the short selling of a stock on a downtick in the market price of, sh- of the shares oh ala. Oh, the short sale rule. Nah, SSR ini uh, gampangnya dia itu regulasi di mana kita itu nggak boleh short sell, cuman di harga satu tick di bawah harga sekarang gitu kan. Kayak eh, misalnya uh, nih Roku ini uh, harga sekarang 8192, kita misalnya pengen short sell langsung di 8170 gitu kan, nggak bisa harus di 8192 ngikutnya. Oke, okay. itu sih yang saya tangkap. They squeeze out the short hard and after that it just fades. It's almost as if You know, the, the, the... the more we learn, teman-teman, kayak dengan kita belajar dari uh, video-video trader dulu, teman-teman kita jadi belajar banyak hal, gitu kan? Uh, the rally never happened. You know, not gonna lie. Saya baru tahu itu ada short sale rule. Like, it, it wasn't exactly a walk in the park, right? At one point, I was on realized twelve thousand dollars, even though I was still up on the day from the Nvidia trades. Cuman dia kalau misalnya lagi los as. Uh, Berapa tadi? Uh, 150 jutaan uh, 200 jutaan Dia gak gemeter gitu kan Bantalnya udah kuat banget Ini bukti kalau dia itu Ternyata berpengalaman gitu kan Bayangin kayak loss 100 juta itu udah sa- Udah satu mobil second gitu kan Oh, you can see that 26 reject. We tried to reclaim at $26 to hold a higher low, but no, it's, now it's a rejection. Should I add that, that $26 mark up there? That would have been the spot to add. Um, but, you know, a little bit gun shy, not gonna lie, so I didn't add into it. Okay, kita lihat. Di percepat. I'm looking at it, reclaiming VWAP. Testing 2560s, and um, I remember thinking at the time, like, okay, I might have to take some for a loss. And it's not fun, right? Nobody likes taking taking losses. Yes, so siapa yang suka cut loss gitu kan? 2570s. Tapi sometimes, in some circumstances, kita harus gitu kan? Finally, untuk memamankan modal. Day, this is what an hour before close. We are finally breaking down midday, and literally didn't do anything. As you can see earlier, I didn't say anything about midday because. There's just nothing there. Um, it like chopped around VWA for a while and now it's breaking down. I'm still holding the same 7,000 shares short at 24.42 average. Masih ditahan! I'm looking, I think at this point, given oh, that 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 that, uh, I think I'm gonna cover some into the close and hold overnight. Oh, you can see AMC flushing down now. Oh, let's go. Down, this thing flushed down to 23. Lagi turun sama yang berarti dia cuan ya, teman-teman, karena dia short selling. So now I only have 6,000 shares left. So now I'm up. Um, oh, I'm officially green on AMC. So early. Let's go, dia udah hijau sekarang. Ya tadi kan nih, kita bisa kan uh, di realize-nya dia kan harusnya tadi kan merah di 2000 dolaran kan. Nah sekarang dia jadi cuan 1495 dolar. Down gitu, kan. 2600. And then, you know, being down 700, 900, and now I'm up 1400. From our entry at 26.25. That's a whole reason I was holding on to these shares for the end of the day unwind. So I'm still short 6,000 shares. In the middle of the day, you saw that I got chopped up a little bit, took some losses. Uh, but I thought, you know, it was well managed. I feel like I managed to trade pretty well. Never traded on emotions and never traded my PL. If I was trading my PL, I would have covered this a long time ago just to recover that $3,000 loss from, um, from the open. Uh, I'm down to. 55 shares short. I think my goal is to swing short 4,000 shares and add on the second day. So we take, you see me enter 1,000 shares entered. Uh, oh, covered oh the tamba, kayaknya. Covered it at 23.79. So that's my goal is to swing the rest overnight um, and see what happens. 
So that was the live trading in action. Oke, teman-teman. On a day was over $34,000. Oke, jadi tadi dia trading di saham Nvidia dan AMC gitu, teman-teman kan. Nah, satu hal yang saya lihat dari dia itu adalah uh, dia uh, kalau misalnya dia pengen TP, dia TP-TP sebagian. Kalau misalnya dia pengen uh, cabut dulu atau dia pengen cut loss, dia cut loss-nya nggak langsung semua ya teman-teman, dia langsung kayak cut loss juga sebagian-sebagian gitu kan, yang tadi kita bisa lihat pas di AMC, dimana pas dia itu udah mulai, uh, dia udah mulai kayak kehilangan 2000 dolar, dia langsung cut loss, do- dia langsung cut loss 2000 dolar, nah dia biarin nih saham posisi dia yang masih minus 10000 dolar, ntar dia itu, walaupun dia makin turun karena dia ada keyakinan gitu kan, bahwa uh, the stock is gonna go down, dia bakal turun gitu kan, dia, jadi dia hold terus, uh, yang penting, yang penting porsi dia udah berkurang lumayan banyak dan akhirnya teman-teman dia pas ada kesempatan momentum untuk tambah muatan untuk short selling lagi dia beli lagi dan sahamnya turun dan dia meraup yang tadinya dia udah mulai uh, loss sekitar 2000 dolar dia sekarang mendapatkan uh, 3000 dolar teman-teman karena kan dia belum tp semuanya karena dia bilang tadi dia masih pengen hold dulu AMC sampai besok karena untuk mengantisipasi kalau misalnya sahamnya masih bisa turun lagi. Oke okay, teman-teman, itu saja video kali ini. Semoga teman-teman itu bisa belajar juga dari video ini, belajar juga bareng saya dan ya, itu saja untuk video kali ini. Salam cuan.